Hi everyone, this is Anil. In this video, we'll talk about draw IO and service now integration. So this is the share link which has the, the utility. Uh, this utility enables you to directly edit uh, draw IO uh, files from within ServiceNav, or you can also create them directly from within ServiceNav. Uh, there's a file which talk, I mean, there are, there are some instructions which are provided in this, uh, which talks about how to install this utility and use it. So let's go through that. So the first step talks about uh, how do you install the update set, which is pretty standard. So you, you, retrieve, you download the update set from share, you preview and deploy, and then there are a couple of properties that you can set, right? So the first property talks about which on which table you want this functionality to, to be available, whether it is knowledge or whether it is a story. They are configured by default, but you can apply this to any other task derived tables. The next property talks about uh, the URL uh, or the, the the diagrams.net URL that it has to uh, open or use, right? Uh, so if you're using a host your own instance of diagrams.net, then you have to modify this property. But if you're using the public online version, then you don't have to change it. In terms of how you can uh, use this functionality, uh, it is available as a related link on the records that you have configured in this property. Like for example, uh, if you have configured knowledge, then it will be available as a related link on knowledge. So there you can, you'll can you have this uh, button called diagrams. When you click on that, it opens up a UI where you can where you have an option to create new diagram or uh, view the existing diagram and edit it, right? So when you click on edit, it will take you to the, the, the embed dot, uh, uh, diagrams.net page and then it where it actually opens up the diagram, right? And you can edit it and it will again, when you save it, it, it brings you back to the, the, the record from which you have navigated. In this case, it is knowledge article or uh, the, the story, right? And then as I mentioned, the, the diagram also gets attached as a PNG to the record. And they also have contact information on how, who you can contact for further details. So let's see this in action uh, on the personal instance. So this is the update set, it's called Diag now. And it, uh, it has like 42 ins uh, inserts, 27 deletes and 69 updates totally, right? Uh, yeah, so I have downloaded that. I have previewed and committed it, as you can see here. Now let's look at the properties. So if you go to pro uh, application menu and then just uh, type diag now, then you have two options, properties and about. Uh, so let's click on properties. And there are two system properties. One is the URL. Uh, again, as I mentioned, if, it is, if you're using the public version, then you have to change it. Uh, but if you're using use your own instance of diag now, uh, yeah, diagrams dotted, then you have to modify that. And similarly, here you can see the list of tables, uh, which are task tables, as in task, uh, child tables of task, uh, on which you are going to use this functionality. So there are two of them, like story and knowledge out of the box. Uh, so if you want to add, you can add the additional tables here, right? And uh, yeah, for the purpose of this demo, I want to use a knowledge article, so we don't have to make any change here. Then we'll go and create a knowledge article. So go here. Click on create new and select IT demo for diagonal. Save it. And once you do that, then you should see a related link called diagrams. So if you click on that, it opens up a UI. You have an option to create a diagram here because there is we don't have a existing diagram already. That's where you will see create new diagram, but no diagrams are available here. So if you click on that, it takes you to this uh, embed diagrams.net where you can create a diagram, right? So for the purpose of this discussion, we'll make a simple flowchart and then uh, uh, attach it to the article. So we made a simple flowchart uh, describing, like explaining the steps that we have just performed, right? Start, read instructions, download and deploy the update set, try diagram. If you like it, you share it on social and end right so now we will save it and this should go and get attached in the uh, on the knowledge article as you can see here as, as soon as you click on save it automatically gets attached here and then it also gives like a, a name and everything for that and if you want to view it it opens up as an image like this and if you go back if you want to edit it it will again take you to the uh, flow chart maker uh, on diagrams.net so this is how this utility works Thank you for watching. This is Anil.